All right, hey guys, it is me, Rylan, and today I'm actually here with Kylie. We are filming in the dorms, which is a little chaotic per usual, but I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do the hair tinsel that is like super popular right now. I have this giant little bag of all these different colors. It's kind of like this much complicated, so I'm really hoping I can show you guys how to do it super clearly, but yeah, let's get right in. Okay, so Kylie has really long hair, but even with her hair being all the way down there, this tinsel is still long enough for her hair. <laughs> so Kylie has her middle part right here in, this, in, this, in the middle, and we want the tinsel to lay underneath a tiny thin section of hair. So I'm just gonna part it with my nail and flip it over onto the side. It doesn't really matter if it's straight or not, but this is the hair that I want the tinsel to sit on. And then when we're done, we're gonna flip this back on top so you can't see the knot, if that makes sense. So now I'm gonna show you behind the scenes. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're doing pink so that you guys can kind of see it on her hair a little bit better. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take this in, this super long piece of tinsel. This is really hard to show because it's so thin. Some people like to do two or three strands. I prefer doing one so that it blends better. And then you're gonna make a little loop at the top. I don't know if you can see that very well. This is like right on half. So like it's the same length at the end. And you're basically gonna take this and you're gonna grab like two or three pieces of hair and you're going to like loop it through. Does it make sense? Let me show you. Okay, so basically what you're gonna do is hopefully you guys can see this. This is the loop I have right here. And then you're gonna grab a tiny little section of hair, just like a few strands. The smaller the better, but for this video, I'm gonna do bigger pieces so you guys can see. You're gonna put that loop underneath the hair just like that, and you're gonna pull the ends all the way through. I'm not sure what this knot is called, but you wanna just pull it all the way through and slide that all the way up the hair. And then, if you've ever made a friendship bracelet before, you're gonna make that same four shape and flip those ends back through that hole again and slide that all the way up. It's the same exact knot you use on a friendship bracelet, and you're gonna do this four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. Like, you want that super knotted in there, because it's gonna keep sliding down the hair. So I do this same knot a few different times. If y'all can see it. I'm sliding it all the way up to like the top of her root. And then once I feel like it's done, I just am going to let that lay flat and then pull this hair back on top. So that way you can't see the knot anymore. So this is what it should look like. There's the knot right there, it's underneath some of her hair. And then you can follow that pink strand all the way through her hair. And then if you notice, this strand is super long so it goes beyond her hair. And then what I do is I'm just gonna take some little scissors and then cut those ends off. Okay, so now you can kind of see that little piece of tinsel in there and you can see it's kind of shimmering. Um, it's very hidden, it's very like slight. I usually don't do very bright colors on her hair. I usually do gold or silver and those shimmer a little bit better. But for the video, I did pink. Okay, so I'm taking this silver strand and this one's pretty shimmery. Doing the same thing where I loop it at the top and then I'm gonna fold her hair over and do it on the next side. <laughs> okay, so I already <laughs> moved her part. You can keep going. Oh, I already okay. moved her part over to the, the other side. And usually, I forgot to say this, I usually do like seven or eight, I would say, knots on each side and then about four or five in the back. And you can do them at like different depths of the parts. So like you could do them like further under, you could do them like really shallow on top. Like you can do different like depth so that you can see some more when it's like half up and stuff like that. But for her, I'm just gonna do this one pretty much on top. <laughs> I wish you guys could see the way Kylie's having to hold this right now so we can get this. Okay, head up just a little. So I'm just gonna grab a little shallow little piece right here and do the exact same thing where I take the loop and I put it underneath. The hair is just sitting on the tinsel, if you guys can see that right now. And I'm just gonna pull those ends all the way through, slide that up to the root. Now this tinsel is like pretty fragile, so you can't pull it like super duper duper tight, otherwise it will snap. But you can slide that all the way up to the root pretty easily. And then you wanna make that knot about four or five different times. Remember, we are making that four shape, just like this. See how it's a four? And then pull those ends through the middle of the four. Slide that back to the top. Doing this a few different times. And then, once I feel like it's not sliding around anymore, I'm gonna pull her part back over on top, and then you can put your head up. Okay. 
And then, let me show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is what the silver looks like in our hair. You can see that shimmering a little bit more. And that one goes all the way from the root down to the end. So if she flips her hair over her shoulders, you're catching that little glimmer. And then usually I would do about seven or eight and it would be her whole head. But for this video, I'm probably just gonna do a few more. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Kylie has all this hair tinsel in her hair now. Thank you for being a part of this. <laughs> so yeah, that's how you do the hair tinsel. That's how you do it on long hair. You can do it on short hair. You can do it on any length. And I'm pretty sure that this will be linked in the bio, the hair tinsel that we use. And I'm pretty sure that it's heat resistant so you can curl it and all sorts of stuff. And the one thing that I wanted to mention was like the upkeep with it is that it will slide down that piece of hair because your hair is pretty slick. If you just take it, and pull it back up to the top, just like how I was doing on her hair, pulling back up to the root, it's not gonna move. And if you're not like actively pulling it out, it's usually not gonna slide out for about a week. I've had it in for like a week, two weeks even sometimes. And um, the only time that I usually see it fall out is in the shower when I'm scrubbing it. But you can like scrub it, brush it, and as long as you're careful, this should be in there for about two weeks. Okay. All right, thank you so much for watching. Bye.